And we here talking about some shit real quick, but hey, before all of that, what's up, what's happening? Hey, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood, K. Hey, K is so good if you sleep with a cut it up Patron, you know the little nigga want a ton. Now, before I get into my little spiel, like, subscribe, help your boy, I help your boy grow. You know what it is. You know I'm that kid. You know I talk my little shit. But because, just because I'm your friendly neighborhood, K.A. Hey, doesn't mean I ain't the neighborhood friendly to a lot of people. Now, Chef G, for instance, the neighborhood ain't friendly to him. Because the cops was listening and the feds was listening. And he got locked up for a little gun charge. You're going to get into that real quick. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be fucked with my nigga Miss Summer Jam. A nigga who I wanted to be on the double XL list. I feel like he had the talent to be there. He was very good. He's very good. Very talented. I feel like with no suburban, he just went crazy. But sadly, he wasn't on the list. I'm just surprised there was really no New York, New York niggas at all on this list. I guess because Double XL was getting that critique forever. They're just like, yo, fuck it, we're not going to put no New York niggas on it. I don't know. Where Lakia from? Lakia might be from New York. Who know? But anyways, besides all that. <laughs> hey, let's get into this story real quick. So, sh so yeah. Chef G arrested in New York for a second degree felony gun possession. Chef G will remain behind in bars until he sees a judge next month. Chef G born Michael Williams was arrested on... Okay, I said it right. On July 15th for the criminal possession of a weapon, which is a felony in New York City. Yeah, New York don't play with guns, bro. I know in the South, you're allowed to have guns. You're allowed to bear arms to protect your home and shit. New York, nigga, they could find you with a... Nigga, you could have a water pistol. They'll give you two years in jail. They don't play, nigga. Nigga, a super soaker? Oh, fuck that, nigga. Seven months. They ain't playing. They don't give a fuck over there. Nigga, fuck that. Don't let your ass go for weed before they let your ass go for a gun. They'll let your ass go if you had, if you randomly like was hunting for sports. They'll let your ass go. They'll be like, no, we don't give a fuck that you killed the animals. That's whatever. The gun though, oh hell no, nah, we taking your ass to jail. They're ridiculous. But anyways, he was booked at the Ot Otis Batum Correctional uh, Center in East Elmhurst, New York. His bill was uh, reminded remanded so he will stay behind bars until august 18th which is when he will get the chance to see the nigga when the fuck is summer jam aren't y'all niggas aren't y'all niggas supposed to perform at summer jam yo ass eli fry every nigga getting locked up hmm. chef g's importance to the brooklyn drill movement cannot be overstated he had a great 2020 very great 20. I, I don't know why the fuck he's not on the double xl list finding success in the projects proud of me now and only and one and only last month he released a new banger, Start Some Shit. The Brooklyn rapper had several run-ins with the law. As of late in January, Chef G was arrested on charges in, of illegal gun possession after a cops found a 45 caliber handgun during a routine traffic stop. So, okay. We will vigorously defend these charges, said Chef G's attorney, Mitchell Elman, at the time. At the time, I have no further com. At this time, why? At the time, at this time, I have no further comments on of the situation. Chef G's recent arrest occurred right as Winner Circle signee. E oh, he whoa! He signed to you too. That's fucked up. How the fuck a nigga you signed is in jail for some shooting shit, and then the boss gets now ain't that a bitch? But Eli Frost was arrested for a Times Square shooting. Frost is currently facing attempted murder and weapons charges after a shooting after shooting at a man during a road rage incident. Ain't that a bitch, bro? Hey, listen, New York artists, y'all know what it is, bro. They find your ass with a gun, they lock your ass. Look at what happened to Favi. Favi just got out of jail. They don't give a fuck. They will lock your ass up for no reason. For no fucking reason, uh, me as a fan, I do enjoy a lot of Chef G's music. I am a fan of Chef G. The first song I've heard of his was No Suburban. And after that, I've been a fan ever since. I've been fuck with him a lot. Dope. Very talented. Love everything he does. I love the other albums. Listen to them. Very good albums. That's why when him and Sleepy Hollow were not on the double XL list, I was like, what the fuck? Because I feel like this is the year of the steppers. I feel like it's just hood niggas galore that are really doing their thing. Them, Fredo Bang, and countless others are ESTG, fucking J.I., even though he makes romantic shit. Well, I guess you had twos and you didn't want two love song niggas that were also hood niggas. I guess, but still. But anyways, um, oh, imagine J.I. and twos. <laughs> that cypher would have... <laughs> sorry, sorry, Chef G. So, Chef G, right? 
Anyways, it is fucked up. You know, Summer Jam's coming up. I would imagine him and Sleepy Hollow would be on Summer Jam doing their thing. Just the year they have had, it would make sense for them to do their thing. But yeah, man. Honestly, it is fucked up. Hopefully, he does get out. I love the music. Again, like I say, Chef G been shot at before. We have seen this happen. The beef is documented between him and 2-2-Gs. They have shot at each other. I get they are felons and criminals, but at the same time, these motherfuckers have the right to bear arms. I understand New York has different laws from Atlanta and all this other shit. But at the same time, if a motherfucker is trying to kill me, if you a street nigga or not, you could understand the perspective of this motherfucker trying to take my life. We can't squash this shit. He's trying to take my life. I'd rather it be him riding in the hearse than me because I want to go back to my family and make sure they eat and take care of them. Every motherfucker can use universally understand it. That's why there's fucking war if you really look at it. Because there's a fucking enemy that's trying to disturb our way of living. Or just hates us and wants to kill us because they seem like we're doing some other shit. And then niggas go back and forth for blah, 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 blah. There's a reason. There's certain reasons behind certain things. But like, yeah, we don't like that nigga. They doing some fuck shit. Boom. So yeah, and then with this street shit, all the politics and all this other shit. I'm not going to act like this nigga ain't got no enemies. I ain't gonna act like this, this nigga is a saint. He never shot at a nigga. I'm not gonna say that, but as a fan of his music, of course, I want him all. I want to make him more music and I want him to get the shine and the acclaim he deserves. But also, I also understand you are in a great position. You are a rapper. Some niggas might just be trying to hit a stain on you and come up, and some you might just actually have beef with that nigga. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure it's universally uh, understandable for you to be a topic a target you having that just to make yourself feel safe you can have a lot of security because a lot of people say oh get security and yes do get security right but you're number one when i said this in the mo3 thing when he went to go see his girlfriend or the girl he was smashing whoever that was you're not gonna have security all the time like if i'm just gonna go smash a chick you're not gonna think oh maybe i should call like fucking to security guys so, to stand at the door while i'm smashing the girl fall asleep and then they follow me in the morning you're not gonna think that and number two you know, even if you have security, you might want the weapon on yourself just to feel safe and secure. Because it's like, I pay these niggas. At the end of the day, yo, the person that has my best uh, interest is me. Because I want the best for myself. These niggas just getting paid. If the money wasn't there, they wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that aspect as well. Nobody wants to go like that. So I understand him having a gun as well. So all I gotta say, man, hopefully Chef G get free. It is what it is, man. Hopefully, my nigga get free. Sleepy Hollow, you got to hold it down. The two homies locked up. You got to hold that shit down. You got to go crazy. And, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say. But, yeah, we'll follow this as more information comes out. Everybody's fucking thing is in August. Chef G, Pooh Shiesty, fucking probably Lucci's in the fucking... Ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. But, anyways, on God. Like, subscribe, help your boy out, help your boy grow. You know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Check out the description below. Say some ish. Put some comments in if you have some views or some stuff I didn't uh, fucking make light of or talk about. Or also, if you just want to say I'm a fucking dickhead with a trash background, you could do that too. I'm going to argue with you, but you could do that too. But yeah, anyways, I'm off of this thing real quick. Shlam, Zoom, Peace, Shah, Elge, Gang. I.